Right now at 5, a loss for words. Tonight, students and staff heartbroken after vandals target their school. We can't even put it together. I have no clue who would do this and why. Tonight, the search for who's behind the damage done days before graduation. That small Christian school in Fort Lauderdale is cleaning up after vandals ransacked the place, damaging everything they could over a matter of days. CBS 4's Joan Murray is live outside the Showers of Blessings School where she saw the extent of the destruction firsthand. Joan. While there is vandalism and then there's a whole other level of destruction like you see here. At this hour, they are just beginning to try to repair the front glass doors completely gone and that is only the start of what happened. Inside. Somehow they found a way to break the windows. Brittany Ewald stepped off a plane Monday and returned to find her school almost destroyed. You couldn't even walk and they had the desk down. Some of this was flipped over upside down. All 10 classrooms at the Showers of Blessing private Christian school have damage from broken walls to shattered toilets, laptops smashed, cameras yanked, books and desks strewn everywhere. And graduation is coming up. We had to cancel prom because we also do that on campus. But um, and a lot of kids are looking forward to it. But unfortunately, we cannot do it at this time. So we're just going to um, we got to roll with the punches and just go for what's coming. Students weren't able to attend class Tuesday, and it's uncertain whether they'll be able to finish the school year. Youth Pastor Tyson Brooks spent Tuesday picking up pieces of porcelain and glass, struggling to understand who would do this and why. It hurts our heart to see this magnitude. I, I can't begin to point my finger on what would trigger this, you know. Um, but it's, it's sad to say, but it, it may have been from someone in our own community. Surveillance taken from a church camera pointed in the direction of the school shows someone on a bike riding to the back on Monday about 6 p.m. And if you look in the corner of the screen, you can see a handful of what appears to be kids around the building. Later, someone can be seen walking away. We're hoping to find whomever it is, you know, if they need help. We're, that's what we're here in the community to do, is to help. And this is what, you know, our goal and our vision is at the school. Now, there are about 130 students at the school. Again, they are just taking it day by day to see if they can complete any more days of school. This couldn't come at a worse time. They were just beginning an expansion project next to this property. All that is on hold while they, while they try to repair the damage. We'll have much more on this coming up at 6 o'clock. Reporting in Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News. Joan.